Hi, I'm Dr. Angela Yeagley. Uh, welcome to Sage Health TV. Uh, today I want to talk about the top five lab tests that I would recommend um, if you have fatigue. Um, so a lot of people will go to the doctor and say, you know, doc, I'm feeling a little tired, uh, feeling a little run down, and they usually do some basic blood work, which would be a CBC and a CMP, and that's usually what, what's done in a traditional sense. And a lot of times it comes back normal. And so uh, many times people are told like, hey, actually everything looks good, you know, so carry on. But most people leave a little frustrated going, well, I, I know something's there, which you're right. If you're tired, that's not normal. There's something there and you need to figure it out or bring on some health practitioners that can help you figure it out. So today I want to give you the top five tests um, to just take to your practitioner or to see if you have these in blood work that's not done, if not get it done, uh, that are going to help you start to dive in and figure out why, you know, why you're feeling tired. So number one is a TSH. So this relates back to your thyroid gland. So a gland that sits here and gives you energy and metabolism. Uh, and so that particular marker comes from your brain and stimulates your thyroid to make thyroid hormones. I like to see it under 2.5. Um, now that's it's an ideal place and if you're not there then you really need to go a little further and look at your other thyroid hormones um, and your thyroid antibodies this is very very important um, because you know again it might just be a nutrient deficiency like iodine um, or you might actively you might have an underlying autoimmune issue that really needs to be addressed um, so TSH get that measured uh, number two is cortisol so cortisol is the adrenal hormone. So adrenals, a little glands, sit on top of your kidneys. They give us energy, stamina. They help us make our pre-hormones. Um, and so cortisol is what wakes you up in the morning. So when the sun hits the, you know, maybe the sun hits the, the window if you live in Seattle, <laughs> but technically in the morning, um, that cortisol should spike up and get you out of bed. And so if that is not happening, it is likely you have a cortisol deficiency. So if you're just doing one measure, measurement I would do the one in the morning. You can do a blood or saliva, um, and then you can actually go a little further and do, if you if you want to invest in this, uh, do four measurements, and that would be cortisol, <clears throat> and you track it throughout the day to see if you have a normal curve. So now on this one, if it's just coming back low um, on the normal range um, or on the lower end, that's usually an issue. And most people, you know, why would you have low cortisol? Usually it's because of stress, um, and unfortunately, Unfortunately, most people, even if it's good stress, you know, you're running, you're busy, you're grabbing the kids, but you're happy, it doesn't matter. It's still going to be affecting your cortisol and possibly making you tired. Uh, the next one is going to be iron. So this many times is a no-brainer, um, but a lot of times I see it doesn't get checked by people's regular docs. Um, and then I would also add on ferritin, which is actually iron storage. This is also important. You can have an iron, a normal looking iron, but if your iron storage is low, it's going to make you tired. Um, so definitely always get those two together. Uh, the fourth one is called homocysteine. So this one is a metabolic marker uh, that relates to checking in to see if you have a B vitamin vitamin deficiency. Um, it actually reflects B6, B12, and B9. So you get those three Bs. And the way that I look at it, if you have a deficiency in those three B vitamins, um, then you're likely deficient in all your B vitamins. They all really work together. Um, and there is an ideal. Um, so you want your homocysteine um, at about a seven. So a lot of the lab ranges these days will go to about 11. And if you're an 11 point, you know, uh, an 11, but it goes to 11.4, like, oh, look, you're normal. No, actually, that's not good. And that's not normal. You really, you're B deficient and B vitamins plug in and help us make energy in our cells and give you energy. So uh, last one um, is a virus called Epstein-Barr virus. So most people uh, have heard of this as mono. So when people are in school and go, oh, I caught mono a lot times they're talking about Epstein-Barr. Um, the thing about this one is that it uh, actually once you catch this virus, it's going to live in your body for the rest of your life and it can impact your energy. So when you're stressed or run down, it can actually start replicating again and make you feel really, really tired. Um, and kind of the hallmark is, of this is that, say, if you're going, you know, I always feel like I'm kind of coming down with something and then I never do. I kind of, I just rest a little and get better. Likely that's your monovirus coming back or reactivating. So when I check it, I like to see an Epstein-Barr, an EBV, IgG, or 
and Epstein-Barr and EBV early antigen. Those are the two that I would look at. Um, Okay, so those are the five, TSH, cortisol, iron with ferritin, homocysteine, uh, and also Epstein-Barr virus. Um, now, I'm gonna give you an extra one, a little bonus one for men, um, is testosterone. Uh, men, if you're tired, you need to look at your free and total testosterone, um, because if you're running on the low end, that usually, you know, for many men, that can make them tired. Not everybody, but it's just something, it's worthwhile checking out. Uh, women, you can check it too, um, but usually, it relates we don't really have much testosterone um, for us it relates more to libido as it than it does in, in energy the last one I'm giving you another bonus one um, is something called methylation so or MTHFR both kind of tie in together so both of these tests are amazing I love running these tests to really dive deeper and just look at the underlying like amino acids and detox pathways and energy pathways of how you know what's going on in your body um, and we have now a really amazing panel um, that's super inexpensive that will measure and look at all this stuff for us. It's incredible. So, you know, if you're interested in that, definitely reach out to us. Um, give us, shoot us an email, give us a call. You know, current patients, definitely let you know. Let's talk about it at your next visit. Um, yeah. So, lots of things we can look at. You know, when we are looking at fatigue. So, one thing I also wanted to mention, I'm super excited about. Um, so, I have a course, an online course coming up, uh, launching next year. Um, in 2020 and I am super excited to share this with you and and it's where you know things like this where really go deeper into you know what else are we looking at you know related to lab so one piece of it that you would want to see beyond these five because there are more definitely um, and that's where we're gonna jump into that so stay tuned for that um, and thank you so much for joining me today um, and we'll see you soon